Let's define listening as making meaning from sound. It's a mental process, and it's a process of extraction. We use some pretty cool techniques to do this. One of them is pattern recognition. So in a cocktail party like this, if I say, David, Sarah, pay attention, some of you just sat up. We recognize patterns to distinguish noise from signal, and especially our name. Differencing is another technique we use. If I left this pink noise on for more than a couple of minutes, you would literally cease to hear it. We listen to differences, we discount sounds that remain the same. And then there is a whole range of filters. These filters take us from all sound down to what we pay attention to. But that's not all. Sound places us in space and in time. If you close your eyes right now in this room, you're aware of the size of the room from the reverberation and the bouncing of the, the sound off the surfaces. I said at the beginning we're losing our listening. Why did I say that? Well, there are a lot of reasons for this. First of all, we invented ways of recording. First writing, then audio recording, and now video recording as well. The premium on accurate and careful listening has simply disappeared. Secondly, the world is now so noisy, with this cacophony going on visually and auditorily, it's just hard to listen, it's tiring to listen. Many people take refuge in headphones, but they turn big public spaces like this, shared soundscapes, into millions of tiny little personal sound bubbles. In this scenario, nobody's listening to anybody. We're becoming impatient. And the art of conversation is being replaced, dangerously, I think, by personal broadcasting. We're becoming desensitized. Our media have to scream at us with these kind of headlines in order to get our attention. And that means it's harder for us to pay attention to the quiet, the subtle, the understated. This is not trivial, because listening is our access to understanding. Conscious listening always creates understanding. And only without conscious listening can these things happen. A world where we don't listen to each other at all is a very scary place indeed. I believe that every human being needs to listen consciously in order to live fully. Connected in space and in time to the physical world around us. Connected in understanding to each other. Not to mention spiritually connected, because every spiritual path I know of has listening and contemplation at its heart.